Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. Naima Singletary here, BillionDollarCourage.com. I just finished a video and the volume went out at the last 30 seconds of the video, so I have to redo video. So today is Monday, August 1st. Can you believe it's August 1st? And look at this new background. If you notice, I have a new background. I am at my mother's house in Sacramento, California. I haven't been here in several weeks and I just wanted to come and hang out. So here I am. But today I want to talk to you about self-approval. Are you self-approved? One of my favorite people to follow on Twitter is at The Daily Love. They, it's just lovely. It's all about self-growth. Great topics and articles and how-tos on how to uh, develop your inner game of success and really create a stable self-approval uh, space for yourself. <clears throat> so what I want to talk about today is the three ways to know that you're not self-approved. And I'm going to talk quick because I want to get these videos to the point so you can have some good meaty stuff to take and go on with your life and implement. So the first way to know that you are not self-approved is constantly seeking outside approval. Seeking for somebody to tell you that you're on track, that you're okay, that you're making the right decision, that you're acceptable. Just constantly seeking somebody to give you that pat on the back and that peace of mind that from someone else. Self-approval is is about you creating that for yourself, you finding the inner strength, the inner wisdom, the inner calm, the inner knowing, and that is you're creating your self-approval. So stop seeking the outside approval of others. The second one is procrastination. Procrastination is saying, I'm not sure, I'm fearful, you know, maybe, what if, mm, I'm not sure. So you, you don't take action because you're not approved. It's like lacking an approval of yourself. Therefore, you just don't do anything because of the fear and lack of approval of yourself. The third way to know that you are not self-approved is that whole you make me syndrome. You make me mad. You make me pissed off. You make me feel this way. You make me upset. That is giving someone else the power over your state, which means I don't approve of myself, so I give you the power to control my emotions. So no more of the you make me. That's totally lacking in self-approval and giving someone else the power over you. So those are the three ways to know you're not self-approved. Constantly seeking outside approval, procrastination, and that whole you make me syndrome. So if you feel like a Frank of benefit, share it. Uh, leave me a comment. I'd love your feedback and I always respond to my comments, whether they're on Facebook, YouTube, or here on the blog. Naima Singletary here, BillionDollarCourage.com. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great week. It's August 1st. I love you. Bye.